Hello to you and welcome back to the channel. This is Motions Biz and today I will be talking about a very uh, important and I think it's a very relevant topic about Navy Federal and the 91-3 rule. Okay, this question always has come up many times from our members and even our first time viewers asking how it works and what really goes on with the 91-3 rule when it comes to the credit cards, but they were also asking if the 91-3 rule applies to other products like the personal loans and the line of credit. Question that was actually brought up by one of our members, and this is from Rob E. So Rob E, thank you so much for bringing up this question because this is what this video is all about and good questions actually that you brought up here. So I'm gonna read your question, okay? So uh, Rob was asking, he said, I was wondering, um, I understand that the 91.3 rule for the CLI request and or applying for another card. So he understood that part. However, he said, is it one or the other or can you do both after the first 91.3? Another great question, which I will answer later, okay? And he added also, does the 91-3 rule apply to only the credit cards or do you also have to wait 91-3 after the new card or the CLI before you apply for a personal loan or line of credit? So thank you for that question. We will talk about that here. So I decided to share uh, this information because I have a personal experience about it. So about those three uh, events actually okay so i also uh, found out that a lot of our members also ask this similar question about the 91-3 rule because they have heard different things from different places uh, what is really uh, the 91-3 rule now but the general rule for the 91-3 is that when you get your first card, credit card with Navy Federal, and it's the first one or the second one, as long as it is a new credit card, you have to wait 91 days or it can be 100 days or three billing statements before you apply for a credit limit increase. Okay. Once you have requested for a credit limit increase for that very first card, for that new Navy Federal card that you just got approved for, you have to wait another six months before you can ask for another credit limit increase. So this is basically like what the rep will tell you if you call them. Again, because we have a lot of savvy Navy Federal members, we, there are a lot of folks actually who requested a credit limit increase before the six months and guess what? They got approved. So, okay, now that we have cleared that, okay, what the 91-3 rule is all about, the next question was, are you able to apply for a credit card, request for a credit limit increase, like simultaneously, okay, it can be one or the other first, okay, you can either go ahead for the credit limit increase and then apply for a new credit card, or you can apply for a credit card first, a new credit card, and then request the credit limit increase Kind of simultaneously it can be a matter of a day it can be the same day and my answer based on my personal experience is that oh yes because i was able to do it okay and i will give you the details so i will definitely share that with you and it's not only the credit limit increase and the application for the new flagship credit card but just after a few days after i got approved for the flagship credit card guess the crazy thing i did I applied for a personal loan with Navy Federal and it was more just kind of to test it, you know, to see if I can get approved and how it works because I like to share what I know. And to my surprise, I was able to get a personal loan just a few days, I think about three or four days right after I got approved for the flagship credit card. So all of these events, my request for a credit limit increase, my application for the Navy Federal flagship credit card and the personal loan was in a span of about a week, okay? So uh, the first one I did, I had the cash rewards credit card already, which was 
25,000 and I got approved for that in October. So when I had the three billing statements, of course, the 91.3 rule, I went on ahead and requested a credit limit increase. But uh, for some of you who have followed me and what happened with my credit limit increase, because I did not know how to, uh, what figure to put there, I only got a hundred dollar credit limit increase because what I placed on the app was when it asked what would be the credit limit that I would request for is that I put in $25,000 and $100. And I know it's a crazy story, but now I know how to ask for it at least, okay? So when I did that, I think that was about January 3rd that I did that. And yes, I was approved within 24 hours. They gave me a $100 credit limit increase on my cash rewards credit card. So after I saw on my app that I was approved for my credit limit increase on my cash rewards credit card, it already was showing that I have a, a credit limit of 25000 and an extra $100. So on January 4th, I decided, okay, let me see if I can get approved for a new credit card. So my flagship was my target at that time. I wanted to get the flagship credit card. So January 4th, around that time, I think, or the 5th, I'm not too sure, but it was within that date, okay? I went on ahead and did the late night hack, of course, <laughs> I know. So I went on ahead and did that, and right away, I was approved for 25000 So there you go. I was approved for a credit limit increase, and the day after, I was approved for a credit card, a new credit card, the flagship credit card for 25000 so now my total then was already about $50,000 and $100. So, so that means that you can actually request, go ahead and request a credit limit increase and apply for a new card within that span of time. I did not stop there. I keep hearing about the Navy Federal Personal Loan. And so I was like, okay, let me go ahead and try it. You know, I, I've seen and I've watched videos on YouTube talking about it. So I went on ahead again and applied for a personal loan on January 7th. Okay. So that was like about three days after I got approved for the flagship credit card. I went on ahead and did the application right on the app, uh, confirmed my information and actually went for the max. So I said, $50,000. Okay. That was what I asked for, for the personal loan. And lo and behold, in a, in a matter of, I think 12 or 16 hours, I think I got a response that I was approved for $50,000 for the personal loan. Now, however, when I saw the interest rate and how much I will be paying for every month, which will be over a thousand dollars every month. And I did not want that to count to my debt to income ratio because it's an installment loan. Okay. So that will really make, make a big debt. So what I did, I took out only $15,000 for the personal loan. Okay. And I needed an installment loan anyway, that is a bit bigger than what I have right now, because I don't really have any other installment loans like, you know, homes or cars. So I went on ahead and did that. And, you know, it's a manageable monthly payment, but I was approved for the personal loan. So those three things I was able to do in a span of about a week. Okay. I was able to request for the credit limit increase. I was able to apply for a new credit card. That was my flagship. And I was also able to get approved for the personal loan with Navy Federal. And with those three, I did not get a hard pull or with my credit limit increase on the cash rewards credit card. Now for the, per, uh, for the personal loan and the flagship credit card, of course, I got a hard pull from TransUnion. So right now in my TransUnion credit report, I have three hard inquiries, okay? And they are all from Navy Federal. So that's why I just think that I know I did a crazy thing, you know, just to kind of, you know, see how things are. But, you know, it depends upon your personal situation, of course, and what you need. But it just really shows you how generous and how accommodating Navy Federal is. Because if you really think about it, I'm a new member 
And, you know, I just started in about August of 2021. And I was already able to really enjoy a lot of the products. And of course, I'm being very, you know, conscientious about it also. But it just shows you that, yes, you can do a credit limit increase. You can do uh, and request for another credit card. You can apply for another credit card. But of course, if you do that, make sure that you do the pre-qualification first, of course. Any time that you want to apply for uh, a credit card, always make sure that you do the pre-qualification. Okay. Now, in the personal loan, uh, yep, in a matter of about a week, actually, all those things happened with me. So it may be a little different with your situation, but I do know of a lot of members that experience the same thing, that they were able to simultaneously apply for a credit card and did the credit limit increase at the same time. You know, not like together, but, you know, in a matter of hours or a day, I think, at least. So there is another question that came up, and I think we should tackle that. Now, one of our members just a while ago, I remember this, asked if what should they do first? Do they do the credit limit increase first, or do you do the credit card application first? So, I mean, as for me, it really depends on what you feel comfortable doing and what you want to achieve, okay? Now, if you want a new credit card, the difference between those two is that there is no hard pull for the credit limit increase, okay? Now, for the credit credit card, of course, a new credit card will always have a hard pull, and that's from TransUnion. Now, there are different opinions out there on which you should start first. But for me, I'm not going to influence you in any way, whatever is comfortable, but you can do both, you know. It's like, uh, for me, I started with a credit limit increase because anyway, there is no hard pull for that, okay. But there can also be a benefit if you go ahead and ask for or apply for the credit card first because if you get approved and you wait a few months before you do the credit limit increase, it may have a, a positive effect on your credit score. So when you ask for a credit limit increase, as some uh, people rationalize, you might get approved for a higher limit because it kind of improved your profile. Because if you got approved for a higher amount, uh, that can really help your utilization. It can bring it down. So it might raise your score up a little bit. So there is that premise, okay? But then... It's totally up to you. I mean, you can decide for yourself what you want to achieve. And so I'm just sharing what I experienced and what crazy thing I did that, in fact, I was able to do all three of those in a matter of a week. Now, let's not forget the question uh, that Rob uh, actually brought up, which he was asking if, does the 91-3 rule apply to all the other products? Okay, the personal loan. Uh, lines of credit, or maybe auto loans and everything else. Now, just my personal feeling, <laughs> just my personal thought, but, you know, I may be wrong, but it, it depends upon other people's experiences, but I'm basing it on my own, okay? Now, I believe you can apply for a personal loan or any of the loans. I mean, at any time, you don't have to wait for the 91-3 uh, rule. And this is because I know of a lot of members with Navy Federal, that were able to do that. You know, they, uh, some of them just had really very good profiles, okay? They had the flagship, and they really kind of worked on their uh, relationship building first, and they were able to do a lot of things in a matter of even before three months, and I know that it happened, okay? I even have a friend who is a member that was able to get an auto loan two weeks after he became a member. So, I mean, I don't know what his data points were, but it can happen, okay? So as far as personal loans, I also know of a relative who was able to do a personal loan right after he actually applied for a credit card. As far as Navy Federal also, just remember that it is important that before you ask for anything, first, of course, you have to really build that relationship and show them that here I am, I'm willing to be a very good member and I'm using your products. I'm ha I have these accounts and, uh, you know, I do have a decent credit profile. 
it all depends on that. But with any banking institution, before they will give you what you ask for, you know, show them a little love first, okay? And it's all, it, it's very practical, you know, just to, if you really think about it, that before they can give you anything, except if you have like an amazing credit score and amazing credit profile, they may grant you what you request for. But generally, as a rule, I would say that before you would ask for anything, just make sure that you have established that relationship. And I know that with Navy Federal, once you have done that, they're pretty cool with it. And they're really very generous. And I know that for a fact. So hopefully that helped answer some questions that you may have about the 91.3 rule. And if you know of any hacks, any tips, any personal experiences with the 91.3 rule, of course, write it down below, uh, uh, put it in the comments section. We would love to hear from you because that's how we learn about all these tricks. So anyway, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day and thank you for watching.